Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. For today's video, I have this makeup look right here. So this is going to be a work makeup tutorial but more of a glam one. This is going to be for those people who have a little bit of time in the morning, um, who want to look more put together, they want to look pretty, they want like full glam. Pretty much like a full face of makeup, brows, and mascara. So this is definitely not going to be like a quick, easy, get ready in the morning, like you're trying to roll out of bed, throw something on real quick, and be out the door. This is not that. I do have a video that I'm going to be doing for a look like that. But this is going to be for people who do like foundation, concealer, contour, highlight, you know, all that good stuff, but it's a very quick video. I've mentioned so many times before my last job was in the medical field, I used to start my day so, so, so early in the morning. My alarm would go off anywhere, depending on what time I had to go in, between 5 and 5.30, and y'all, I am not a morning person. I have to snooze for at least like 45 minutes before I can even think about getting out of bed. I still wanted to look cute, I wanted to look glam, I wasn't trying to go to work looking like I just rolled out of bed. Like, I did the full beat, I always did just a full face brows, mascara, and I would do a lip. So this is actually pretty quick. Believe it or not, this probably takes me about 15 minutes to do, so it's not too bad. I do take a few shortcuts here and there, and you will see them in the video. This is a pretty quick tutorial, and this is what I would do when I had to like be out the door, but I still wanted to look pretty and feel pretty. I wanted my full coverage glam. If that is what you're looking for, then this is a video for you. Let's just go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, first things first, let's pull this crazy ass hair out of the way. We don't have time to be messing around with this crazy hair. So we're just gonna pull it up, stick it in a nice little clip, and then we're just gonna go ahead and move on to skincare in three, two, one. Oh, I was late. Okay, so we're gonna be taking the Olay eye cream. This is um, just a regular eye cream. It's in a little pot and I like this because it's kind of pinkish so it's a little bit brightening if you have dark circles. That's what I'm using at the moment. I'm going in with this moisturizer. This is, I think it's by Garnier and I'm pretty sure it's called the Moisture Bomb. I like this because it sinks into the skin very quickly. Oh, hold on. I gotta take a dance break. I'm getting down with my bad self. And then for the center of my face, I'm gonna take the Murad Oil Mattifier. This is a mattifying moisturizer and I'm using this because then I don't have to additionally go in with a primer. This is a really good job if you've never used it. Damn girl, there I go again. Look at me. Who do I think I am with these dance moves? <laughs> Anyways, I like using this because I don't have to go in with a primer and it keeps me matte all day, but it doesn't make my makeup go on like really patchy or gross or anything like that. Can you guys hear Charlie in the background? He's eating right now, and of course he decides to eat right as I'm filming my voiceover, of course. So I just take that in my T-zone where I'm really oily, and then I'm gonna take, I usually take about three pumps of Laura Mercier, and then I do just a dab of the Physicians Formula, just to kind of darken it a little bit, just so it's like my perfect skin tone. I'm gonna take this all over the face, and I know a lot of people think that like going in with a beauty sponge is a little too much in the morning, and people are like, I got time for that, but this is the way I like to do my foundation and my concealer and I just don't like to go in with brushes so what I actually like to do is when my primer is kind of sinking into my skin I like to go and wet my beauty blender that way it gives my primer a second to sink in and then I have a chance to wet my beauty sponge and this is just the way that I like to go in and apply my foundation and concealer if it's faster for you to go in with a brush, then by all means go in with a brush. This is just what I like to do. I also like to take it over my eyes because I have a lot of darkness and I feel like it helps further conceal my dark circles. And then going in with my Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Sand. We're going to cover up all those dark circles, girl. We ain't trying to look like we are running on two hours of sleep, even though we usually are, right? So I'm just going to pat this right underneath those little peepers. And then with whatever I have left over, I'm going to dab it on my chin and right on the center of my face just so everything looks pretty much even and I just don't have really really bright under eyes and it's pretty much bright throughout the whole center of my face and there I go with the dancing again damn girl 
I'm gonna go in with my usual powders, Anastasia Banana, and just a pinch, just a tiny pinch of MAC Emphasize, just because I like a bright under eye. Bless you, honey, that was Charlie. And then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. blush brush, and of course we tap out those creases as per usual because y'all, we ain't trying to set no creases, okay? We wanna have nice, baby smooth under eyes, so I'm just gonna go in and set everything in place. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm in the shade Fairlight, and my Sonia Kashuk powder brush. The way I like to powder when I'm in a rush is I kind of take like an excess amount, and I just kind of throw it on my face. I know it sounds really messy, but that's what I like to do when I'm in a rush, because I'm not trying to look perfect. I just want to get the powder on there, and then I really concentrate it in the center of my face, because I'm really oily in those parts. And then moving on to a little bit of baking, this is totally optional. Y'all don't have to do this if you don't want to but baking is just a necessary step for me if I want my concealer not to crease I don't have a choice and then with my butter bronzer I'm taking this BH cosmetics bronzer brush I'm doing kind of the same thing I like to load up my brush and just kind of lay all the product in at once and then just blend it all in I'm going around the perimeter of my face you know we're gonna hit that double chin and then I go on my forehead just make sure that I'm nice and evenly bronzed contouring is also an additional step I do just a slight contour because I want my face to look just a little slimmer so it's really just like bloop bloop and that's really all the contour that I do. We're going to go ahead and dust away that bake because we're going to move on to blush. And I'm going to take my MAC blush brush and this is Ofra, I'm pretty sure it's Ofra Rendezvous. It's a really nice matte, kind of like a peachy neutral bronzy blush if that makes sense and we're going to hit those little cheekies. I'm going to go back in with my big bronzer brush and I'm just going to kind of mesh everything together. I always do this stuff because I feel like it just makes my face look more finished. And then I'm taking my Amrezy highlight with my BH Cosmetics fan brush and I like to lay the highlight on pretty heavy. I do the tops of my cheekbones. I go right above the brow. I like to do my brows last when I'm going for this more natural look because I like to hit the arch of my brow with my fan brush, do the nose, the cheek, just the usual spots. And then because we not fancy, I'm just going to go in with my fat little finger and pop this right on the inner corner. And then moving on to brows. I have been really loving this brow pencil. This is by, I think the brand is pronounced Rodeo. It's in the shade Dark Ash Brown. I'll have it listed below, but I got it in my Ipsy bag. And I'm typically more of a dip brow girl, but I've been using this a lot lately. For some reason, I've just really been into a more natural brow, which is so not me. I totally love a structured brow, and I haven't not used dip brows since I started using it, like when it launched in, I don't know, 2010, 2011. But I've been really enjoying this lately. So I'm kind of all over the place when I do my brows. I do them the same way that I do either when I'm using a pencil or when I'm doing dip brow. I like to outline the bottom of the brow and then I like to move to the top tail of my brow and I just outline. Then I start to fill in just the tail. And then what I'll do is I'll move on to the top front of my brow, outline that, and then I'll go in and start filling in and also starting to kind of spool it into place. And another thing that I really like about this brow pencil is that the product moves really nicely. Like when I go in and I start to spoolie everything, it just glides away beautifully. So I'm really enjoying this. And then when I go in to do the front, I just do like very slight hair like strokes and then I'll just take the other end of the brow pencil, the spoolie, and I'll just kind of brush everything together just so it looks really nice and natural. Now for me, if I do use a brow pencil, I don't have to do this with dip brow, but I absolutely have to go in and put some type of clear brow gel over the top of my brow just because I'm very oily. A brow pencil doesn't really typically stay on my face unless I do a clear brow gel. This one is from L'Oreal. It's just their clear brow gel. And then we're gonna hit that face with some Mario spray. I feel like I love my makeup 100% more after I go in with some facial spray. It just settles everything and makes it look so skin-like. And then I'm taking my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Um, this isn't my favorite mascara. I'm using it because I have it and I kind of just want to get rid of it. It's okay. It gets the job done, but I still like my L'Oreal Voluminous more to make my lashes a little more full. So I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, found a hair. I had to pull that little sucker off because it was getting in my way. But I'm I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys now. So I like a really 
thick natural lash if I'm not going in with lashes which I very seldom do I will like to lay an initial first coat of mascara down so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna lay down that first coat of mascara and then we're gonna come back and build it up after it's dried but not a hundred percent dry it's still a little bit kind of wet and not completely dried but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that in just a second so before we move on to that, I'm going to go in with ColourPop. This is the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trap. One of my favorite, favorite shades from them. It's so my tone right up my alley. It's like a pinky, rosy color. And then while I'm waiting for my liquid lip to dry, I'm just going to go in and kind of put another coat of mascara on. Like I said, if this isn't your cup of tea, you don't have to do this, but I just like a really thick damn girl I got the moves today I don't know what was going on with me but I just like a really thick heavy natural lash so I'm just gonna coat on that mascara just a little bit more while we were doing our second coat of mascara our liquid lip is completely dry I'm gonna go in with buxom white Russian this is one of my favorite lip combinations I am a gloss girl and this is the longest lasting way that I can keep a gloss on my lips is with a liquid lipstick underneath it that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go and I will see you in my next one. God, does anybody remember this song?